Well, Russia is now potentially facing yet another round of sanctions for allegedly failing to comply with anti-doping rules. On Monday, the 12-member executive committee of the World Anti-Doping Agency will meet in Lausanne, Switzerland and decide whether to bar Russia from officially competing in the 2020 Summer Games in Tokyo and the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. Just to remind you, this all goes back to the 2016 McLaren report, which found the Russian state conspired to undertake a doping program that was unprecedented in its scale and ambition, allegations denied by Russia. The fallout from it all led to heavy sanctions and no official Russian team competing at the 2018 Winter Olympics in South Korea. Russia's anti-doping agency was reinstated in September of 2018 and the country appeared to be on track for full inclusion on the international sports stage. But a key condition was that Russia shared its testing data from its Moscow lab by the end of that year. WADA now says that that crucial data was delayed and had inconsistencies and that a new round of sanctions could be needed. The Kremlin said at a press conference in late November that it had, quote, given all the necessary answers to WADA and will continue to interact with the agency. We expect more reaction from Moscow after Monday's decision. Even if their country is banned, some Russian athletes could still compete in the Tokyo Olympics if they can prove they are clean. But no Russian flag would fly at Tokyo and the build-up to the Games would once again be overshadowed by the spectre of doping. Patrick Snell, CNN.